guys, thanks for tuning in today. We are going to jump right on into today's video. I am doing a get ready with me. Um, and as we can see here, I am just priming my eyes with my e.l.f. Putty Eye Primer in the color white. This is also a good point in time to go ahead and click that subscribe button down below. Click that bell right next to it so you can stay up to date whenever I upload a new video. I am going in with my brows with this brow boss in the color brunette. And I will be sure to leave a link in the description box or at least list all the products that I use in the description box. Sometimes with these get ready with these, it allows me to see exactly how many products I use to get ready, which sometimes is a lot. So I will be sure to at the very least list them in the description box or whatever it is you're interested in. Y'all know I be jamming as I get ready for change. And so now I'm just gonna go in with this white kind of holographic shade in my BH Cosmetics Artistry Palette. I don't know if the holographic portion of the shadow is showing on camera. Well, I've never actually used this shade before, but you know, I was feeling, I was just feeling adventurous this day. It was gonna be a whole different type of neutral-ish look. My Jaclyn Hill and Morphe palette, Ring the Alarm. I'm gonna go in with these two colors in my crease. So I'm not even sure where I'm going with this look, but then I decided to just go ahead and throw this metallic gray shade on it. And we're gonna see what happens. You know, sometimes when you're playing at makeup, you don't exactly know what the end result is gonna be, but you know, I just allow myself to kind of express myself, whatever I'm feeling that day, whatever. You know, makeup is really just art. You know, there really is no right or wrong with makeup, but some of us might just think you look crazy, but it's just whatever you prefer, you know, so you just gotta just help be free to express how you feel it. So now I'm just gonna go back in with Secret in my outer crease and corner of my eyes for a little bit more dimension. to the eyeliner. I am using my Wet n Wild eyeliner and then I'm going to switch to an eyeliner pen to do my actual wing up. I made a whole mistake here. Don't worry guys, I'll fix it later after I apply my lashes. I just kind of like do need to see that little, that little mistake, that little extra stop. So watching this back, I'm noticing that this mirror is so dirty. Don't worry y'all, I'm about to go clean it right now. <laughs> but let's look at that wing eye. Yes, honey, I see you. Now you just need to replicate that on the other side. <laughs> so now guys, I'm just cleaning up my wing look with a Q-tip. And then I'm gonna also clean my under eye, those area from any fallout that my eyeshadow may have left. Hey 
y'all, I'm about to make my first impression on this Fenty Beauty foundation in the color 420. So let's take a look at how this formula is looking real quick. Loving it. Right now it looks like it's going to be a fairly decent match. Now off the top, me applying this, I feel like it does look a little bit darker slash a little bit more orangey than the actual skin tone. But, you know, maybe it needs to oxidize so we're not going to get the control with it and see what happens. But I'm feeling it, yes! I'm feeling myself already. Um, I don't want to get my scarf through so I'm going to take that off. Yeah, I'm I will have a couple of videos coming soon and I'm going to do my video for that. I'm looking and I'm like, does that really match? Is this my skin tone? Like, or am I looking like a clown? Like, what, what's really happening? Let me know in the comments. I gotta look in the mirror for combination because I just. convinced that face is me being convinced that it's not matching um i know i'm a little tan right now so maybe that might be the issue but it's just not it's not it i'm gonna go and get my wet and wild foundation in the color coco so i can see how much different the fenty foundation is and we're gonna see that the fenty is on the bottom and it is a few shades darker for sure than the skin tone so i do think i'm gonna go ahead and return this because I do love the formula. The formula, the way this feels on the skin and the finish, like it does look a flawless air brush finish for sure. And it feels so good on the skin. So I'm going to put that in. So I am mixing both foundations so I can feel it correct. Alright, so now I'm going to line my under eyes with this sort of green turquoise color. You can use an eyeshadow if you don't have an eyeliner in this color. And then I'm going to be using my bare minimum that those powder all over my face again I'm just trying to look correct here let me know in the comments if you think I'm lucky if it was matching I'm fine um highlighting but I really I think I'm gonna take it back to Sephora and I think I'm gonna get like a 410 or 35 I'm not sure So now guys, I am rushing to get ready because I started to run a little bit behind. I'm just applying highlighter to my inner eye duct here, but I started to run behind guys, so I do go ahead and apply my lip color off camera, but I will leave a, a lip, what? <laughs> I will list it in the description box if you're interested in it, and my finished look is coming up soon, so stay tuned. Bye guys!